In this video, we are going to install STM32 Cube ID in your Windows laptop. So I'm going to tell you everything by the, by the step by step procedure. First of all, you have to go to your uh, Google and paste this link. So this link will be available in the description box. People who are want this just to go and take it. So I'm going to click enter. So after that, it will be open like this. You have to go to this gate software. So here I'm going to install uh, my STM32 Cube ID in my Windows laptop. I'm going to select this option and get software. So after that, you accept the agreements. So it will ask us to accept the agreements. You have to give accept. And either you can uh, create an account or else you have to go as a guest. So I'm going to go as a guest. It will ask to download now. Yes. So in this case, uh, there is one thing here. Here they just ask only download now. In some of the cases, they will ask to uh, your information, what's your first name and last name and mail ID. So through your mail ID, you will get the link to download this specific XTM32 Cube ID. So here I've, I've get it uh, directly from the site. Okay. So it was downloading right now. We just go to uh, install the MSS. So MSS, which is going to helpful to install some of the package and, and modules which is required for our STM32 uh, Cube ID. So we have to install that one also. So before that, we have to download the MSS2 in your laptop. So just open the another tab. And to paste this link, this link which is also available in the description, if you want that, just to go and take it. Click enter. So after that, uh, you will get this page. Give MSYS2, you will download as an exe file. Both the software which is downloading. So both as downloaded right now. So now you have to go to this MSYS. So just right click it and open it as run as administrator. Make sure uh, you have to give an S. Then next. And this is the directory. And next. Next. And it was installed. So make sure you have to keep it on your mind. You have to open it as an administrator. Yes. And finish it off. You will get this terminal. So after that, if you see here, after in, uh, install this uh, specific MSYS, it will uh, ask to run this two command. So one is this one. You have to copy paste here. And paste here. Now click enter and give Y. So, as these are the packages and modules which is required for STEM32, was downloading. It's done. Okay, and the second command they had mentioned the uh, GCC version. So right click and paste it. Yes, successfully we get the version also. And beyond that, you have to install uh, another two commands also. That command also I mentioned in the description box. Okay, you just take it and use it for the purpose so the command is yes, pacman uh, hyphen uh, syu click enter it will install all the packages which is required proceed with installation give s
Okay. To complete this update, all MCS process, including the terminal, will be closed. So if you see here, uh, confine uh, to proceed. So it just asks, uh, including the terminal to close, just to give S. So after it was closed, you just open the MCS and paste this command. So this is the command which is also required for the download. Just to click enter. Yes. So it's asking you to. So enter the section. Okay. So which section uh, you have to choose it here. So here we are going to select the uh, Minji W of uh, iPhone W64. So this is the thing which you are going to download. So I'm going to give three here. So proceed with installation. Give Y. It start installing. So after I uh, have given the Pacman Iphen SYU, uh, you have completed completed that installation. This MSIS will automatically close, and after that you have to go uh, and open the MSIS again and use this command. Okay, command and install the specific packages which is required. Yes, we successfully installed every packages which is required for this one. So, and then you have to close this MSIS. Okay, so make MSIS 2 and the Minji W uh, to available globally by configuring the environment variables. So, what you how you are going to do is just to go to your and type so environment variable, you can do so here. Yes. So you have, you have to choose the environment variable and kick the path and give uh, edit. And here you have to select as new. So here you have to paste the path of MSIS and the MinGW. Okay. You just go to your folder and you have to check MSIS M64. Uh, that is. Copy paste this path. And paste your path here. Give new. Paste your path. And give OK. So again, you have to open this one. Edit and give a uh, new. And here you have to choose the Minji W64. And here it will. So here you have to paste this path also. So you have to select new and paste one and give OK and OK. OK. So if you now we can able to access these two uh, uh, software in your normal command prompt also. Okay, so that that's the thing. We just make it as an uh, in uh, we just configuring uh, globally. So okay. So yes, up to now we just successfully completed the installation. Now the main hero is the HTM32, right? So we had already in uh, downloaded as a zip file. Now we are going to extract it. Right click it. And give extract all. So extract to STM32. So it was extracting right now. Yes, we had successfully installed this one. So just to go to this one. Open as run as administrator. Give S. It was installing. And next, and give agree, 
I agree and next and instead. Now the STM32 was successfully going to install in our laptop. Okay, it was uh, successfully installed it. And uh, so this is the procedure. So we just to cover everything by step by step procedure. So if you want any links, so if you want any commands, so everything which is going to be available in our description, if you want that, you just to go and take it to download it. So if you follow this step, definitely you will get this successfully installed this software. If you are facing any error while installing, while running any commands, no need to worry about that. Just re-enter the commands and uh, run the command again. Okay. So other than that, if you are facing any uh, errors, uh, if you are after, you have to re-enter the command. So if you are facing error and again and again, you just post your uh, problems in the command section. We are ready to answer all your questions. Okay. It was completed. The installation was completed. Just to give next and finish it off. So I we are successfully installed the STM32. So now if you go to your search bar and type STM32. Yes, the STM32 1.17.0. This is the latest version. You will get your STM32 Cube ID in your laptop. So just to launch it. And go and do your best project and your passionate project which you want to do in your software. So these are the things. You have to go and watch it and go and read it and do it yourself. Okay. After So after you install this software, it will be looks like this. So I really hope you, you have uh, got an idea about how to install this one. And if you want anything to tell, you just post it on the command. So if you are really like this video, just to hit the like button and uh, don't forget to subscribe our channel. And we will see you on the next video. Until it's goodbye from channel. Bye.